Hey folks, so I've just purchased the TP-Link AX5400 internal Wi-Fi network adapter, bit of a mouthful. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process of installing this into the computer. Now the main feature of this TP-Link adapter is that it supports the Wi-Fi 6E radio band. If you don't have a network that also supports Wi-Fi 6E, you will not be getting the most out of this adapter, although it is backwards compatible with everything that comes before 6E. So just before we go ahead and get this installed, let's see what comes in the box. We have the Wi-Fi adapter itself, along with this optional low profile bracket, if you need to use that instead of the one that is pre-installed. And this here is the extension base, if you need to use that, although you can connect the antenna directly to the Wi-Fi card itself. So the card also has a Bluetooth module, which is optional. If you want to install this, you will need to connect the card using this thin cable here to your PC's motherboard. But don't worry, I will explain more about that as we get into the setup. And finally, we have a CD, which has the driver software, although Windows 10 and Windows 11 will typically install this without that and a couple of bits of paper with quick start guides and the usual stuff. So that's everything that comes in the box. I'm gonna go ahead, get the PC on its side and we'll get started. And this card will require at minimum a PCI Express times one slot. So just make sure your motherboard has one of those free before picking up an internal Wi-Fi card such as this. This small slot is a PCI Express times one. So this is compatible with the TP-Link card. However, I'm not too happy about the fact it would be brushing right up against the graphics card, which needs quite a bit of air circulation. So what I'm going to do is forego using this slot here and use this time 16 slot. Now, as you can see, this is a much lengthier slot and much longer than the adapter requires. However, an X16 slot is fully compatible with this card. So it's just a case of removing the back panel bracket that matches up to that slot. Okay, and this is where you now have a choice. This card has Bluetooth capabilities as well as the standard Wi-Fi. Now, in order to use the Bluetooth, you need to connect it with the included cable that I showed you. Okay, and this white end here, this white connector, will slot into the connector on the back of the adapter. Just make sure you put it in the right way because you could damage the cable if you don't. And then the other end of this cable will connect into your computer's motherboard into a socket that is called either a USB or JUSB. It will be something USB, okay, as you can see on my motherboard there. And just note that there is one missing pin that is covered up that will match the socket on your motherboard. So make sure once again that you are connecting this the correct way. Now I'm not actually going to install this cable and the reason for that is my computer has already got Bluetooth built into it. So I don't want to connect the Bluetooth on the card because that could also cause conflicts. And installing the card itself is super simple. Just line it up with your socket and push it down until it clicks into place. You shouldn't have to force it, but once you've lined it up correctly, it will be a nice fit. And as you can see, because I use that X16 slot, we still have the rest of that connector protruding there behind the adapter. That's absolutely fine. It will still work as normal. And that's pretty much all there is to it for the internal work. All that's left is for us to either connect the antenna directly to the adapter, which is what I'm going to do, or you can use the optional extension base, in which case you will connect these connectors here to the, uh, to the adapter, and then these antenna will connect onto the base. So entirely your choice, but for me, connecting onto the car directly will be absolutely fine. Just rotate them clockwise in order to secure them in place. And that's all there is to it, guys. So folks, there we have the unboxing and the setup of the TP-Link Wi-Fi 6E adapter. If it's helped, please do consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to my YouTube channel for future content. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.